That's a lot. That's so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Sean Evans from First We Feast, and this is Hot Ones, no, the show with hot... No, it is not <laughs> Hot Ones, the show with hot wings and even hotter questions, because we don't want to get sued. Hi, everybody. My name is Raneem Hamdan. And I am Sa'id Adal Sa'id Hassan Ali Mokhlis Zed Saar Ben Nabal Adal Lid Ben Nam. For our... <laughs> too much? Before our wedding, we wanted to give a special look into us by emulating one of our favorite YouTube shows, yeah. Hot Ones. Yes. Uh, Sean Evans, please don't sue us. Yeah. We're big fans. We are. We're huge fans. We love you. <laughs> please. <laughs> you know how this works. We take a bite of the wing. Right. Uh, we have 10, and I'm scared. I am too. How are you feeling? <laughs> good. I'm good with spicy food, but I am nervous. Am I good with spicy food? Tell them. No. <laughs> no, he's not, not even good a maybe, with spicy food. Not even a, I can work up to it. Like, to like wing three. Three. Yeah. I oh. might be wing three too. I don't know. Okay, you know what? All right, we'll Let's get do started. This. We'll get started. Mm. Mm. All right, normal flavor. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Mm -mm. Celebrities, you weren't lying. Mm. When did you first think that you're going to propose to me? And then how did you decide to do it? So, you know, we started off online completely with... That's true. With texts, or actually Instagram messages, and mm -hmm. then texts, uh -huh. and then uh, FaceTimes. Right. And then... <clears throat> and then... And then reality. Yeah, and then reality. Yeah. So, during the first couple months, I said I wanted to go to... I was talking about Mexico, going to Cancun for a trip. Oh, yeah. One of those all this things. And then yeah. you sent me a video <laughs> with you... Like the phone was propped up, so it was like almost like a production. It you, was prepared. You brought a bag over and be like, <clears throat> zipped it up and be like, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. And <laughs> the commitment to the to the joke, it felt honest, pure. It wasn't even goofy. It was lighthearted, and it was something I wanted around me every day. So I was like, holy Aww. crap, she might. This one might be. This one might be it. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I was just being a goo. <laughs> well, it worked. Yeah, it worked. Ready for the second one? Yes. This one, pimentier. It's a green curry. Mm. <laughs> it is a little bit spicier, though. Mm. Two bites. Oh, I'll play. I'll pay for these. We both had grandparents that were a big part of our childhood mm -hmm. and going into our adulthood as well. Ali Haman, they're most of them have Haman. passed. I have my grandmother on my dad's side still. But what advice do you think they're shouting down from heaven at us right now oh, as wow. a new couple before our wedding? I even remember my Jiddo telling me this um, when I was younger. And I know everybody hears it, but you cannot go to bed upset or angry with someone. Your heart doesn't rest if you're upset with somebody. What is your mouth doing right here? It's, it's just it's nothing. It's not, it's not spicy, but I was thinking that like when people hear something that's cliche, they usually tuck it aside. But that particular thing is seems like just etched in stone for every couple that's something that they should. And it's actually, it's harder, it's, but it's harder to do than you think. Yeah, and by the way, it, it doesn't mean do keep fighting until it's time to go to work. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. But um, should definitely try. Don't go to bed angry is a great one, and yeah. uh, I I think we do pretty well so Sometimes. far. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, if it's not hard, it's not worth doing. We do our best. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, lemon pepper. I lemon love lemon pe pepper. Lemon pepper is nice. Mm. Ask a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since graduating Ohio State, OH, Ohio. you've spent some time in a number of cities like LA, Chicago, Denver, Austin, now Houston. What is the most unexpected place that you ended up in? And then how did that happen? Well, I went to LA for grad school after I graduated Ohio State. And after I graduated that, I had this new idea that I wanted to work with PTSD, but mm -hmm. at the source. 
and that meant joining uh, the military for that mm. specific type of PTSD. Right. So if you'd have asked me if I was a kid where I would live at when I was 23, I would 24, I would not have told you that I'd be getting on a plane to Quantico, Virginia. Oh, God. In the dead of winter, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was OCS, Officer Candidate School, and it was the coldest I've ever been in my life. But it was the best, worst time of my life <laughs> because it challenged me in a way that nothing else has. Yeah. Uh, physically speaking. Yeah. And also mentally as well. Virginia is a place I never thought I'd live. And of all the places I've lived, it's probably my least favorite. Okay. Under certain That's okay, Virginia. <laughs> under okay, circumstances. Virginia. I'm sure it's great uh, for like normal folks, but it was uh, good it was a crazy folks. experience. We're doing pretty yeah. good. We're not even touching the yeah, drinks. Yeah, we're not. Next week. Okay. Mmm, the Chipotle one. I love the smokiness of this one. Yeah. These are supposed to be spicy. These really are good. You know what? I just realized why they don't take all the bites in the actual show. I can't talk. Yeah, you can't talk. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't know this about you, but when you were doing your internship at NASA. <laughs> yeah. Which is awesome, by the way. Thank you. Um, what would you say was the most expected element of that experience? And was that the reason you didn't continue with that career path? I think the most unexpected thing that happened to me was honestly living that that lifestyle of waking up, being there at like 6 a.m., only getting to your tiny closet of a room until 10 p.m. after working on trajectories all day and m mapping out storage units within a, within basically a missile just going up to space. It was really draining. And while it was fun with the people I was with, it was pretty draining. But the thing that actually was so super unexpected for me was I did meet um, Apollo 13 astronaut Fred Hayes. And I asked him, I said, what would you recommend? <laughs> what advice would you give, basically, um, to someone who'd want to be an astronaut? And he basically said, don't. <laughs> <laughs> he basically said, don't. I and I probably, I, I probably asked the wrong guy because, you know, Apollo 13. But yeah, I took it to heart. <laughs> it must have been amazing being on the sp around the space station and all that. It was really, really cool. I mean, it was a station, but the I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut since I was a little, a little kid. You know how you say that when you're a little kid and then you go, you know, you go on with your life and then you choose another career. I actually <coughs> stuck with it for a, a, a little while and and wanted to do that. But yeah, I think after that experience, even though it was so fun, it was a no. It was a no for me. <laughs> all right, all next right. week. At Los Calientes. They had us in the first half. <laughs> you had me in the first half, my dude. There is no shame in this I game. know. I know. So the pandemic was a tough time for, I don't want to say most people, for pretty much everyone. But you came out of it with a published picture book. Most people binge Breaking Bad or um, making OnlyFans. Uh, but how did you decide to create Flightless? Okay. Available on Amazon now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had to do the plug. <laughs> First of all, I am not high and mighty. I almost made it only fans. When you're by yourself <laughs> and all you do is work out and you don't have friends to see and you just, you get bored. Yeah. Your mind goes. Now, yeah. <clears throat> me, I when I lived in Denver, I was working as an EMT. And I was stationed right. at a the Denver Performing Arts Complex where they were doing a, a big stage production of a picture book called Corduroy, mm -hmm. this little teddy bear that loses a button. Cute, yes. And um, and I was I was looking at this and I had to watch it multiple times because of my station, and I thought I could do this. Yeah. I pulled out my phone, <clears throat> opened the notes page, <clears throat> and started writing, just a story, and it started All rhyming right. too because I'm arrogant. I'm like, yeah, you're good, rhyme. <laughs> And then it became this like this word document story. Now, once the pandemic kicked around, yeah, I was like, you know what? This is just sitting here, it's just waiting. Might as well throw a Do little money in it. it. Yeah. So I hired a, a illustrator from um, from India through uh, uh, like a Upwork or yeah. free Fiverr, one of those, and it came out incredible. Self published it on really Amazon, is. and I had it on September sixth, twenty twenty. Oh, cute. I, uh, I got an email saying your book is officially being published and it's on the way. 
Oh, I love and it. It was it was incredible. It's, it's seeing it in my hands as something that it created immediately from my creativity and a little bit of cash to like something seeing in fruition. Seeing it come to fruition is, is it, it probably was, crazy. It was it's an a incredible crazy experience. Yeah. And I was like, all right, you know what? Even if I don't have a six pack, I <laughs> I don't need I don't need all the fans and I will I will I have this book. This will suffice. This will suffice. This will suffice. Good, good job, honey. Thanks, buddy. Good job. This one. Why do I have the the, the Gimli? It's a really sad. The, I got the fellowship here, and you give me the Gimli. Which, I'm sorry, the spicy shark. The spicy shark. This is the one that I like the name the most. I think. Oh my god, no. They didn't have to jump that high so No, it's kind of a jump. Okay, but I'm still strong. How you doing? Good. Good, that's the question. I'm fine. How are you? <clears throat> I am also fine. Smoky aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, my uh, my tongue's vibrating a little bit. <clears throat> Last time I felt that was in Vegas at the chandelier bar. They give you this little root uh -huh. that you chew, take a sip of the drink, and it makes your mouth numb. That's nice. I've never felt this in my... Let's <clears throat> <clears throat> go to the next question. <clears throat> Sorry, I am going to... So, No, I, oh, okay. All right. Cheers. Should I keep going? Just ask your question. Lebanon. Okay, ask you a All question. Right. No, it's my question. Is your question? Yeah. You ready? Okay, ask your question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm so, sorry. so deep in the depths of Google Photos, there's a video of a certain hottie doing an impressive dance routine, <laughs> right? I hate On this. a stage with her team. So tell me a little bit about that. What, what was the training like for that? And leading up to the performance, is there another video you can send me? <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> Oh God. She meant um, arse. <laughs> arse. <coughs> yeah, when I was in um, high school, <laughs> I was a part of a dance company. Emotions dance company. <laughs> throw back. Yeah, throw back. And um, I was on the uh, hip, hip hop team. And I loved it. And we would dance, like, we would practice and dance for four hours a day. And then do these, like, biannual performances. And they were so much fun, and I have like lifelong friends from it. <clears throat> this is so hot. Um, <laughs> um, but that that dance in particular, um, I got a bit of a showcase moment in the in the middle. You probably like the outfits because it was all very much just a bedazzled. Great color. It was a great color. Yes, I'm not get. I'm, I'm not even going to describe it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to do that. Anyway, it was a good time. It was a great production. Shout out to Emotions, and there's no other videos. Adobo, Adobo Loco. This is, I like this question. Yep. Okay. This one cooked the wing it was on. It shriveled. I'm sorry, that's not good. Well, it doesn't taste good. No, it tastes... We can do this. I think I'm gonna cry. Yeah, how, how do you? How does Sean Evans do it? How do you do it? I'm not convinced he has taste buds. He probably lost I them. I think they're burned out. He probably lost them. But uh, you know what? I'm, now you know what? I can do this. I don't need. <laughs> okay. Our audience. I forgot <laughs> the. Oh, this one. This one's gonna explain that gram. Yeah. So took a took a little browse in your Instagram. Uh huh. Found a picture that I'd really, I'd love to know the backstory for it. We'll probably set it up better on the camera, but photo of you and Jolly. <laughs> I don't know if you can, uh, you probably can't, but no, we'll, we might, we might edit this we'll, to we'll, look better. But <laughs> what is, just what's happening here? Madam, there is a clear explanation the for that. in the room. <laughs> and the Jolliford can attest. Jolliford? The, the homie, homie Jolls. The homie Jolls. The homie Jolls will tell you. That we were a part of a, well, we met playing rugby in Los Angeles for Santa Monica Rugby. Yeah. A sloop. And we created a social team called the Fighting Nicholas Cages. 
of Santa Monica. Best name <laughs> ever, by the way, and best. Um, so Jolly Net photo is wearing the pink jersey. Yes. Now we ordered training tanks as well, and I wore that one. Yes. Because sun's out, guns up. And you still have that one. I do. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. Keep going. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Open the sinuses. We, um, so that so picture fun. was taken right before we went to my first Red Rocks concert. We saw Grizz. Oh. If you've never been to Red <laughs> Rocks in Denver, it's a natural amphitheater with just beautiful. It's, it's Amazing. incredible. Yeah. I've sunsets. only seen pictures, but beautiful. And, you know, sometimes you got to stand out because everybody's a little weird in Denver. So we wore... <laughs> These colorful outfits, and I, I my hair was about this long too. <gasps> they put a solo cup on my head, right? Wrap my hair around it. That's yeah. so I look like Cindy Lou Who. I was about to say you look more like a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Trolls are famous. Trolls are famous. Anyway, it was yes, a great time. It was an incredible concert. I you love could, it. You could see uh, like a, a reading of some huh. boring poetry from the 1800s, and it'd still be amazing. And it'd still just be a great show at. at Red Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. So it was incredible, and and I'm I'm sure we'll have other memories just like that because I'm not throwing that shirt away. No, it's a good shirt. You guys <laughs> see it in person. She's trying to explain to everybody else, like she doesn't need to explain. It's a great shirt. It like, is a great. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. All right, my explainagram I, is I, I, all that people hear is just sniffles. <laughs> yes, they do. I'm so, uh... Oh God. My explainagram is this one. So you are in Playa del Carmen, it looks yeah. like, with yeah. just the most flamboyant <laughs> and fantabulous of outfits on this gentleman. Cover, covered in feathers. Um, beautiful outfit, by the way. Abs it is fabulous, just to let you know. But Tell me about that. This was after a dinner in Playa del Carmen. We were there actually for my cousin Haitham and his wife Mariela's wedding. Shout out to them. One of the most beautiful weddings I've ever been to. And it was so fun because it was so small. We all decided to go out for dinner, drinks, good food, good music around. We're leaving, <coughs> going back to the hotel. <laughs> this guy's taking pictures with everybody. I thought, what the, you know, what the heck, we'll take pictures. Um, I don't know why or what compelled him, but my cousin went first. She took a picture with him. And she said, she said, just be prepared. And I'm like, for what? I get in the picture with this guy to get you to laugh so you have a better picture. He's tickling you. So the feather that's kind of hiding his other arm is him tickling people. <laughs> so in that photo, I'm like trying to do my regular like practiced smile. <laughs> I can't because I am laughing. Um, but it's good. It's actually really smart. Yeah, I got a good picture out of it. You know, shout out to him for getting a, a really nice, authentic smile out of us with those pictures. That's a pretty picture. Yeah, yeah it's a good picture. Good, good time. Fun. God. Are we good? Yeah. The are next we, one is the we, bomb, though. You have another photo? Oh, wait. Wait. I do. I do. I did ask you. You okay with me doing another one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Because I really... This Cause is I need a, more time between that and next week. Because y'all are actually going to... You might think that he's cool, a cool guy. Nice. Normal, right? He's not because <laughs> this is so okay hot dog with fruit loops there was a clear explanation and for that. chili there's no oh it's friday it is friday it's it's not why are you eating this <laughs> <laughs> okay look well, there's okay i can explain okay, when, when i was please. at ucla me uh, my boy herbito adam <clears throat> not just as many people in the department as we could, we all we would all walk to Starbucks. Now on the way to for morning coffee, on the uh -huh. way back in Westwood Village, on the way back we passed this gas station. Yeah. And at the gas station, <laughs> of course, they did two for two hot dogs until like 10 a.m. or something okay. like that. I'm not sure why that's a breakfast item at a California gas station. That was a station. breakfast item. No, it was a hot dog. Sorry, that's really a hot dog. <laughs> hot, hot, do a dog. hot dog. Hot dog. Anyway. I put the fixings on there, some sriracha, some ma some uh, mustard, so some onions, relish. And then I brought it up, and I'm like, you know what? It's the same hot dog I get three times a week. Uh, maybe Which I should, is fine. Maybe I should. So I go into my snack drawer, and I pick up some Fruit Loops. And I'm like, let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Man. And the judgment it's worse than I got was more intense than what you're giving me right now. I'm sure. 
I'm being tame. It was delicious. I, I... Expand your horizon. Well, we can't now yeah. because I got to take Because our taste buds are dying. And I have to take eight Peptos before doing this thing. That is true. That is true. Well, I don't know. I'm not thoroughly convinced, We're but doing okay. Yeah. I think we're doing fine. Look how much drink we have. We do. We do have a lot. You ready um, for the last three? Not the next one. Because that's the bomb. Right, and anybody who's a fan of hot ones, I think, knows that that's, that is a, um, a tricky sauce. Let's do it. Okay. I, I have to, I won't even be able to talk, so I really gotta, I gotta remember my question. It's <laughs> gonna be a delayed fuse. It's a delayed uh, fuse. Why? Why am I taking another bite? Because I'll pay for this. <laughs> I can do this. Okay. Um, I will admit, it's a loss. It's really bad side. <clears throat> Stop looking at me. That didn't help. Orange juice doesn't help. <clears throat> oh my god. Aiden doesn't help. <coughs> and that fake California almond milk doesn't help either. <coughs> That's really, that's so bad. I'm sorry. What is the next question? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a, at the same time. <laughs> if you, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You can do this. If you won the lottery, if you won the lottery, billion dollars. Which doesn't do? go that far these days. <laughs> right. Oh my god, what would you do? It's still cooking my mouth. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Composure. Right? There's Strength? No fucking. No, there's no such thing as composure. This isn't even the one I'm afraid of. The milk tastes hot. Time out. Things are getting euphoric all of a sudden. Am I dying? Shut up. Oh, God. Um, sorry. Boom, boom, boom. I got this. If you won the lottery. If you, won the lo if you won the lottery. If I won the lottery. What'd you do? What would I do? Yeah, what'd you spend the money on? I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay. What'd a lot. A lot. You know, when I, when I can't sleep sometimes, I imagine <laughs> what I'd do if I won the lottery. Yeah? It takes me on this, like, dream, like, daydream, and I fall asleep. Dream. It works almost every time. Uh-huh. Wait, so what do you think about? What do you think about? I think about what i do first. First of all, I wouldn't tell anybody. I would hire six of my friends. How are you fine right now? Okay, huh? yeah. yeah. I'd hire six of my friends to go to each one of my family members. Okay. With $100,000 <laughs> expenses. And their only job is to get them to show up at a conference room in Hawaii, at a Hawaii resort, where I'll be there telling them, I won the lottery, we rich fam. This is very elaborate. I told that to my mom. She said I was dramatic. PM said I was dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Uh, oh. Uh, I mean, I like yeah. it. Yeah, and then, I, and then I tell them that y'all are... Oh my god. Y'all have this much to buy a house wherever you want. Um, because honestly, property is the most valuable thing in the world. This is like a real estate. Other than time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I do. I'd set my family it. up okay. in houses yeah. in any city they wanted. And then I'd give them uh, a million to play with for investing. So I think it'd be fun to see what each person would do to try okay. and grow their money. You know I'd I mean? invest in this. Did you hear my answer? <laughs> Partially. I'm only asking because I can't hear anything right now. Okay. I don't know. I'm here. What? I don't know how that gets worse. We're at nine. Alchemy. There's watermelon in this. Watermelon's great. I love watermelon. Watermelon sneak up on you. That can't be bad. <laughs> we were supposed to do the second 
uh, my Graham on the next wing. So we have an extra question. Were we? Yeah, oh, that's God. okay. That's okay. All right, take this bite because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to answer, ask this question after this. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, is this so much? It's not. It's just very pigment. Says. I'm going to take one bite. I'll take That's we, not awful. You gonna talk about the devil like that? Mm-hmm. <coughs> That's not good, actually. It hits the back of the throat. What's in there? <coughs> 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 oh my god, I'm sorry. The acid should <laughs> neutralize. It's <laughs> Daniel and the I'm spice. not in this room like these poor, oh, these poor guys. <laughs> At least. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? That helps, though. That's fine. You know what? Watch this. No. Why? I think that's... Rick. King Kong. King, 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 King Kong. Okay. What's the question? Is it my question? Yes. What's the question? <laughs> I don't know what I'm, what I'm looking to for help. I want you. Okay. To give me a superpower. Wow. Oh. Give me a superpower that you want me to have. <sighs> I thought of one, but it's it's not serious. I, I'll think of a better one, but lactose tolerance. <laughs> we are here and we are not ashamed. They exist. They exist. Almond milk is just fine. I was gonna say invisible, but I don't think you'd like to be the, the fly on the wall. You'd want to be included because you'd somebody somebody wants you there, you know. I but, don't know if I'm that vain. <laughs> oh god, this could be. Oh, I'll take this back. I'm hiccuping now. I think you'd want to. I fly. I think you'd want to fly. I think so too. Yeah, because well. If I can not fly even, any not speed even I want. thinking about flightless, which is available on Amazon now, but <laughs> you welcome. It feels really bad. I oh. think anyone jeez if anyone I want to fly. So fly. Flying. We flight. travel quite a bit, which is not typical of our of our culture for people to travel together before. Yeah, for their married. For their married. We did a fair amount and God, it was they a were blast. Awesome. It was. Amazing. And we, we didn't do nearly as much as we want to. What's, no, but, but we got favorite, more time. But your favorite was? Mexico, I think. No, no. Yeah. London. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> London. Your it's next, where you proposed. Your next question might be that. that. Really? <laughs> Explain how I proposed to, I to the fans. I love talking about that city, so I don't know how to. Oh, wait. You got to eat the last. Are we? Hold oh, on. no. Wait, hold on. You want to do the honors? The last question? Last dab. Tell the fans. <laughs> Hi, family. Hi, friends. I feel... I know that no sauce got up here. It feels like it's in the I nostril. I fire mustache. <sighs> you have a real one. But I feel like one's being burned and etched into my body. <laughs> like it's going right. to stay in the beard for a good oh, five God. hours after this. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. We're doing great. There are people who have done... I'm not. They don't need that. It's fine. What? I was gonna drink. I was gonna... I was gonna... Things. Add things. I'm so scared. How much did you put? Oh. You put more. Why do you put so much? Because I'm a... <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I was like, wait, y'all can censor. <laughs> Due to saucy language, parental discretion is advised. Jeez. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway. What is your final question, madam? All right. The let's final hear question it. of our of our pre-wedding interview that will probably be showing pre-wedding hot at the screen. Uh, I don't know. During our cocktail hour. Yeah, I hope y'all like this. Yeah. If, yeah. All right. All right. Hit it. Wait. Bite Me? first. A bite first? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, cheers. Cheers, baby. Cheers. We did it. We did it. <laughs> this fire mustache is Is awful. there heat coming off it? Okay.
Oh, I'm sorry. Whew. Maybe if I get too loud for the mic, I don't know. Stop yelling. Okay. okay. Oh my god. I can't hear anything. That's not right. Do you smell colors? <laughs> sorry, no. I don't smell. Do you have? Maybe ask a question. <laughs> it's your question. For real? I don't know anymore. What's your question? You said it was London. If you could put us, <clears throat> insert us into a Disney movie. Oh man. Which one would it be? Which one of these works? Oh god, sorry. Okay. It wasn't that one. What? There's not a movie named Milk. <clears throat> no. Maybe no. I'm a mood. Okay. This is a good okay, question. I think um, um, Elemental. I love. Which one of us is far? <sighs> you. I'm sweating. You're fire. Even though that's a check. <laughs> I'm water because I cry at any f thing. Saucy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I love it because it's like through the odds, it's me and you. That's what, that's what it is. Through these awful chicken wings. Hold on. Me and you. <clears throat> We're gonna... I cannot, can I turn it to you? You answer. Before we... Uh, Bust, that was awful. Am I crying? I've never seen you cry, so I don't know. Oh my god. What's your question? What's your answer? I think I am crying. What's your answer? That man I love does not work. Whose idea was this? Hey, that was my mom's. Where's the almond milk? I don't know. I don't know, but answer I'm the on. question. The almond milk? Um, answer the question. I'm getting a Charlie horse on my hip. How does that, how does that happen? Not right. Habibi. <sighs> Just chug it, chug it. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> I'd really get good for the question. Sponsored by almond milk. It's not sponsored. Sponsored by bagels. What? <laughs> and what Disney movie embodies us? Tangled. Oh. You've been part of... Oh my god. You've been primarily home yeah? for most of your life, whereas I have been bouncing around in different cities. <sighs> And it's true. We met, and now we're taking this trip together. That's true. I and like I it. And I like your hair. <laughs> I like yours too. And bees just like Pascal. That's true. It's a cute little chameleon. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All we right. did it. We did it. Good job. Good job. Now thank before you. before we end this, thank you to Hamad and Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. To everybody. <laughs> The setup is amazing. <laughs> Can I interest you in some hell? <laughs> and uh, before we go, Sean, we love you, so we're going to copy you. This yeah. camera, this camera, this camera. Tell everybody what we have. We have our wedding coming up December 16th. At the Intercontinental Houston Med Center. And if you're watching it from there, we, we're so happy you're there. We love you. And the those who can't make it, <laughs> we love you as well. Those who we yes. didn't invite. We love you too. And those we don't know, we hope you like this damn video. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Oh man. I feel like uh, so bad. the back of my throat is like in shock. When I tell you I really feel, oh my God, sorry. My tongue is I afraid feel, to touch the no, rest no. of my mouth. Like, I feel it in places that it's like, I didn't touch it. 
Like my shoulder, I feel it's hot. My <laughs> teeth burn. How does my teeth burn? I mean, oh, I know why I have a mustache, that's why it feels like a hot mustache. What? I just touched it. No! Okay. There's more sauce. <laughs> oh God. Shut oh my God, I burned, I'm sorry. He was there. Oh God. I think that worked, ew. I think that was disgusting. We should have done that. Can we cut? Because I feel like this is getting worse. Can we cut? Thank you. <laughs>